time to make the annual announcement of the Pegasus Awards from the James Randi Educational Foundation. And uh, boy, have we got Spectrum this year. Mind you, we always do. But uh, we've got a, also one person that really stands out, and you'll find out in a moment who that is. In the scientist category, this may be a name that you've heard of, Dr. Stanislaw Brzezinski. He has an anti-neoplastom therapy as a cure for cancer. His clinical trials cost patients tens of thousands of dollars. He really knows how to charge. That's one thing he has mastered. Uh, medical science, eh, maybe not. He's currently under FDA investigation for violating the rules of clinical trials. Whether that goes anyplace, we just don't know. But we want to give him the scientist category. Congratulations, Dr. Stanislaw Brzezinski. Number two in the funding category, the Pumpkin Hollow Retreat Center. Duh. No, it doesn't only operate on Halloween, in case you were wondering. But uh, they fund and promote therapeutic touch. This is known as TT. Uh, first of all, it's not therapeutic, and it doesn't involve any touching. But that shouldn't surprise you in the, the rules of fake medicine. This was tested, as you may recall, uh, by uh, Emily Rosa some years ago, when she was just a, a mere slip of a child. She designed some tests, and they were published in the, the uh, Journal of the American Medical Association as quite definitive tests and such. And all the nurses failed and they have not come back for a test since. So we have the media category. Oh, the sci-fi channel comes up for attention again. <laughs> now, as you know, if you ever look at the sci-fi channel, which has some interesting things on it, all these pseudoscientific investigation shows such as Ghost Hunters, Haunted Collector, duh, and Fact or Faked, The Paranormal Files. Now, they, they do very well with this. But, you know, they are an entertainment uh, outlet, after all, and uh, they don't say they're doing anything real or telling any truth. They just don't care. Like so many of these channels, with all the junk science on them, they don't care. So they win a Pegasus Award this year. And in the performer category, Alex Jones, he's pushing dozens of pseudoscientific alternative therapies such as water filters uh, that's supposed to remove poisonous fluoride and various unproven herbal remedies. He's one of the spearheads of the 9-11 truther movement, which has no truth in it whatsoever. So, Alex Jones, congratulations. Now, uh, there's another category that's been added here. It's important, folks. Let's take this seriously. Dr. Mehmet Oz, it's spelled O-Z, but he gets into the refusal to face reality category this year for the James Randi Educational Foundation Annual Pegasus Awards. Now, you know his show, his TV show, given to him years ago by Oprah Winfrey, who has a habit, Oprah does, of embracing unquestionably embracing anything that sounds good, sounds nice. If it sounds nice and it's pleasant, particularly if it involves women, that's important to her, and rightly so. He dresses in operating garb uh, during most of his show, just so you know that he's ready. Should someone in the audience start dying, he can run down there and save them. Now, it's a popular TV show. It promotes shamelessly, all manner of pseudoscientific and paranormal health claims, including reparative therapy to cure gay people. Want to try it, Doc? I got a challenge for you right here. Reiki? Oh, his wife, by the way, is a Reiki priestess. So uh, every now and then when he's doing operations, now he is a cardiac surgeon, remember, and he's very skilled in this direction, so we are led to understand. He has a very good record of successes, operations on cardi cardiac victims. And um, during the operation, you'll suddenly see him stop when he hears a clapping of hands, 
That comes from an attendant dressed in the green gown with the mask and everything who comes over to the patient and passes her hands over the patient like this to even out the human aura. This is what Nanda, the nursing association, believes, you see. And they believe this aura actually exists. And then she waves her hand at Dr. Oz, and Dr. Oz goes back in with the scalpel. I don't think I'm going to invite Dr. Oz to operate on me in a cardiac fashion, in fact, in any fashion. I wouldn't trust him to give me an aspirin tablet. In a way, aside from his specialty of cardiac surgery, which he's very good at, we admit that, he has a great record in that field. But aside from that, Dr. Mehmet Oz is a quack. Refusal to face reality, that Pegasus this year goes to Dr. Mehmet Oz. Now, just in leaving you, I'll tell you something about how important Dr. Oz is to us. He is the only person on this planet, or any other that we know of, who has gotten three Pegasus Awards. Congratulations, Dr. Mehmet Oz. You've broken the record. Aren't you proud? Quack of the year again. This is James Randi. Thank you, folks. Mm -hmm.